This demonstration of the new GMX 550. This is the new GM lockpick. It's a replacement for the uh, earlier GMX 322. It's been a very popular piece for several years. It's now been upgraded to the 550 series. A lot of important updates to this piece. Uh, very cool features. We'll go through them step by step here. The GMX 322 had inputs for cameras. The GMX 550 expands on that dramatically. The 550 has inputs for left and right turn signal cameras. These will turn on automatically whenever you put your turn signals on, or you can turn them on manually anytime you want to. Again, that's an option you can set by using steering wheel buttons, plug and play harness, no wiring necessary. Uh, also, you've got inputs here for a rear camera if you're going to add one aftermarket. And you've also got an input for a front camera. So you can plug in a front camera to this one. It'll turn on manually whenever you want to, or you can have it turn on automatically whenever you're driving at slow speeds to park. All that done seamlessly, plug and play. Also included in the box are going to be uh, AV inputs. These are video and stereo audio inputs. You can plug in any device you would like uh, that has video capabilities and sound capabilities, any type of external DVD player or anything like that. This will play it through the factory sound system and display it right on your front screen, right on the factory nav screen. Next to your standard audio and video inputs that are on the GMX 550, there's also another connector. This is the connection for our iPod cable. The GMX 550 now includes iPod capability, and it's an advanced iPod interface. There's a cable that will plug into that connector, and also the standard docking connector for your iPod, your iPad, your iPhone. It's tested for all different versions of all different types. You're going to plug it into this connection right here, plug the other one into your, uh, your uh, iPod device, and you're going to get sound through your factory sound system and also it will extract the video. Any videos you have will also be able to play directly on your factory screen. This is just a quick rundown of some of the devices you can plug into your GMX 550. You have the iPad of course and plug that in. It's going to give you the audio and video from that device. You can hear it and see it on your front screen. Older iPhones, really old iPods, again any of the Nano series, anything that's video capable of course it'll pull the video from those this is the iPhone 4 plug directly in extract the audio and video from that play it through the sound system view in the front screen iPod touch same thing the uh, GMX 550 is programmed for all these devices and again it's upgradable in case these uh, change in the future next to that you're going to see there's also a USB input this allows us to update so if um, the Apple products change or there's new iPods, iPads that come out, we'll always be able to stay current with those and we can reflash these. There's updates available directly on the website. Last thing here that's very important is a headrest output. The GMX 550 now includes a headrest output. You can plug a cable into that one and on that cable right there it'll give you the output of whatever you're displaying on the front screen or you can customize it and play something different. So you can have something showing on the front screen, um, just sound playing through the sound system, and you can output video and audio to your headrest that would be different. Whatever you get plugged into the box, it could be your sources here, cameras, could be iPod, it could be anything. It'll play right through those uh, headrest outputs. The GMX 550 is controlled primarily through the steering wheel buttons, and also it gives displays on the front panel. So it'll show right up on your instrument panel exactly how to operate it. it. goes through the functions. You can select them using your steering wheel. And also, of course, it'll show up on the screen. So I'll demonstrate that. I'll press the uh, mute button four times. And you'll get text there that says you have the uh, GMX 550 connected. Scroll for menus. Just push down. It moves to the next menu. Of course, the uh, GMX 550 can give you nav in motion. So if you want to put in an address, it lets you just do that. Just select it directly from your steering wheel. Also allows you to have DVD in motion, so if you have a DVD in your factory player, you can play it, view it on the front screen, it'll show you automatically. Also we have the function to activate iPod, we're going to press that for on. What that's going to do is bring up the interface that we have for the iPhone. When you look on here you can see it. you can select your playlists, artists, albums, and again I'm just using the steering wheel controls. So I can scroll down pick the song, again pull my songs up, play them. It's going to give me the, al the album art, it's going to show up on the screen, gives you displays for time, 
All this is done using the steering wheel buttons. You can return back to the earlier menus. With the uh, iPhone selected, you also can uh, go up and down through the choices available on the screen. Just use it again, the steering wheel buttons. Or if you hold those steering wheel buttons down, just hold it. It'll switch to an alphabetical mode. So if I have a long list, I can just switch through them alphabetically, select something with M's, and just run through those as well. Also built into the interface is, uh, actually built into the iPhone, is a function for uh, caller ID and for the picture of the person. So if you're viewing the interface as we are now, and a phone call comes in, it'll give you the uh, caller ID information, plus the picture that you have associated with that contact will show up on the front screen. Also, if you're going to use the phone to make a phone call, just pick it up, start dialing. It'll automatically mute the sound from uh, the songs that are playing and allow you to uh, make your phone call uninterrupted. Here we have a phone call coming in. It automatically mutes the phone and displays a picture. The phone call ends goes right back to the uh, music and also the video associated with it if you've got that turned on. While using your interface you can also turn the tuning knob and that will move through the selections in your iPod or iPhone. Allow you to just zoom through them quickly left or right. I'm going to exit out of that now. Come back here. I'm going to connect up the iPad. Okay, with the iPad plugged in, you can select the uh, music, of course, from your iPod, play that through, or you can select the video. Go ahead and select our uh, Wally -E movie that we have on this one, and we'll select play. That'll begin playing here. Also on our screen, just turn on the video, and there is your uh, Wally -E movie playing directly on the front screen coming from your iPad. Okay, it'll do this with any of your devices that you have. You can plug in. Um, any of your earlier iPhones, iPods, um, and it'll give you the video directly on the front screen. We can now go through the rest of the menus that are available in the GMX 550. These are the ones that are going to show up on your instrument panel. We'll press the mute button four times. One, two, three, four. That'll bring up our text. Of course, this is the iPod uh, selection that we had earlier. Another thing to note, of course, is that the interface does charge the iPod, iPhone, iPad. Whenever it's plugged in, it's going to charge those to keep them running for uh, as long as you've got them plugged in. We've also got the aux AV input. Those are those video and audio jacks on the side of the box. You can activate those. You can view the rear camera, view a front camera, left, right camera, or you can set additional options for the interface. Within the additional options menu, we'll go ahead and select that. You have the option to, to uh, turn off the rear cam when you're in reverse. So if you don't want that camera to show up when you're putting the car in reverse, you can turn it off. You can also have the front cam for auto function, so it'll turn on automatically whenever the vehicle is driving slowly. It helps you in parking. Really cool feature. You can turn those auto turn cams on so that whenever you select your uh, turn signals, left or right, that picture will display automatically on the front screen. You also have a dealer mode. That'll turn off video in motion. That'll stop it from being able to play a video, a DVD movie, while the vehicle is in motion. There's also additional override configurations. We'll select that. And within this, you can determine uh, four different modes of actually doing the override function. This is for a navigation input, for address input, and for DVD play. The unit is currently programmed for four different types of uh, operations to accomplish that. So it's compatible with all the vehicles that are available. And again, say it is USB upgradable, so we can add additional options if that becomes necessary. That concludes the demonstrations of some of these functions. We'll go ahead and go through some driving, show you how the overrides work, and also the camera functions.